Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So uh, here we have m times of m times of m plus m times of m equals to 36 and we solve this problem for the values of m. So here uh, you see that m is multiplied by 3 times so uh, we write this m as m cube and plus this m is multiplied by 2 times so we write it as m square equals to 36 okay so after that uh, here uh, we need to focus uh, in the right hand side uh, so you see here in the right hand side we have 36 and now we break this 36 and we write it as 27 plus 9 we know that 27 plus 9 becomes 36 and after this step uh, you again see here you have this is third 27 so now we write this 27 into the prime factor form so we write it as 3 cubed and similarly here you have a 9 and we write it as 3 squared similarly in the left hand side uh, you see here we have m cube plus m square and now after that uh, you fo uh, you just focus on both of the sides and now you uh, remove uh, all the terms from right hand side to the left hand side so it will be written as m cube plus m square and this is these two terms are positive when we move in the left hand side these are becomes negative so we write it as minus 3 cube and minus 3 square equals to 0 so further uh, in the next step here we need to make the pair of cubic term and the square term as well so we have m cube minus 3 cube and plus we have m square minus 3 square and this is equals to 0 and now further uh, here you see that uh, we have uh, these two are cubic and square terms so here we need two nice formulas so that uh, you very well know about these formulas if we have a cube minus b cube it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square similarly here you have this is the square formula and we write it as a square minus b square so we write it as a minus b times of a plus b so here we apply uh, the cubic formula on this term and the square formula on this term so here first we uh, need to apply the cubic formula on the first factor so we write uh, our first factor as m minus 3 into this is uh, a square so here our a is m and b is 3 so we write it as m square plus m into 3 plus 3 square and plus this is uh, m square minus 3 square and we write it as m minus 3 into m plus 3 and this whole is equals to 0 and now in the next step uh, uh, you see here we have m minus 3 be the common term so that here we take common m minus 3 and uh, when you take common m minus 3 then the remaining terms are m square plus 3m plus this is 3 square and we know that 3 square equals to 9 and when you take common m minus 3 then uh, we get the remaining term r m plus 3 and this whole equals to 0 and now here we need uh, some simplification and uh, we write it as m minus 3 into here we have m square plus this is 3m and plus m equals to 4m and 9 plus 3 equals to 12 and this whole equals to 0. So now here in the next step we break this equation into the two cases so that our first case is we take m minus 3 equals to 0 and the second case is we take m square plus 4m plus 12 equals to 0. 
So now in the in the first step, uh, we easily get the value of m is equals to three. And now in order to find uh, the uh, other values of m, we need to solve this quadratic equation. So that here uh, first we write the coefficients of this quadratic equation, and its coefficients are a equals to one, b equals to four, and c equals to twelve. Okay, so in the next step, uh, you see here, uh, we apply the quadratic formula. So uh, the quadratic formula is written as m equals minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So this is the our quadratic formula. And now we substitute the values of a, b and c in this quadratic formula. So uh, this formula is written as in this form m equals minus b. So the value of b is 4. When we substitute it here, it will become minus 4 plus minus square root of b square. So b is 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 12 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1. So after this step here we need more simplifications and we write it as m equals minus 4 plus minus square root of this is 4 square and 4 square equals to 16 minus 4 times of 12 equals to 48 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2. So in the next step here uh, we need more simplifications and we write it as minus 4 plus minus square root of uh, here you have 16 uh, minus 48 equals to uh, minus 32 and it is divided by 2. So uh, after this step here uh, we need to focus on this uh, square root uh, term and we again rewrite this term as minus 4 plus minus. We write this 32 as 16 times of 2 and we write the square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2. Okay, so further uh, you see here we have m equals minus 4 plus minus. Here we know that the square, uh, square root of 16 is equals to 4 and the square root of 2 is equals to 2 and we have the square root of minus 1 is iota and it is divided by 2. So further uh, here we need to divide uh, uh, we need to break this fraction and we write it as minus 4 over 2 plus minus 4 into square root of 2 over 2 into iota. So you see here we have this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4 and we get minus 2 plus minus these are again cancelled by each other and you get 2 into square root of 2 into iota. So finally we have uh, the other two complex values of given equation are here you take common 2 and we get minus 1 plus minus square root of 2 iota. So these are the other two complex values of m and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.